How's it going, everybody? Disregard the mess on my bench, all my tools and shit. I was just getting busy with the car, but uh, flex wheel sensor. So let me just take this quick thumbnail real quick. Got the flex wheel sensor. I have these two little parts right here. So you're definitely going to need, well, it depends because, all right, before I even start, um, it comes with everything, the whole kit. I'll show you guys soon. But I have that feed line right here. You see, it's right here. This one, it goes all the way to the firewall, all the way down, around, and then to my feet over here. So I'm going to have to take that whole thing out and cut it over there somewhere. Um, I kind of want the flex fuel sensor zip tied like around here somewhere. So I could just sit up here. Um, but yeah, so because I have that feed line, I need these two uh, fittings. So I'll show you guys exactly why in a second. So just saying, I have opened this kit, by the way. So obviously it's by Surimoto. Um, they are usually in stock, but they have been out of stock recently. So yeah, so this is what you're going to get. Some Surimoto stickers, pretty much. Pretty sick. And this is the fun part. So this right here, one's going to connect to your coolant temp sensor, which is why I haven't put my front bumper on yet, because the sensor is right here, pretty much. I gotta just unplug it. Um, reason why I have it hanging is because it doesn't go in here. And I don't know if it gives me a check engine light, so I don't wanna unplug it. So one's going to your coolant temp sensor. Then you get your two lines right here. And this is meant for the OEM lines. But yeah, I'm not using this at all. Um, this is pretty much a waste for me because like I said, I got the aftermarket feed. Um, here's a booklet. The little instruction seat what you're gonna get and then you're gonna get your uh let's see what's this sorry guys kind of hard to uh do this one hand okay so you're gonna get your uh harness for the gauge this is the gauge pod harness right here um or sorry that might be for the flex field sorry yeah so that's for the flex field bracket for the flex field then in this one and guys, look at that Sirimoto box, guys. They really put a lot of effort into this. You guys see Sirimoto here. This is a full plug and play kit, guys. So you're not gonna need a damn thing, except for 85. <laughs> but um, oh, let me see. Then here, this is why it's kind of pricey. They give you a gauge pod for your gauge. They obviously give you your innovative gauge with the white or black face. I think I'm gonna put the white face on uh, cause you get this, the little silver thing. And then you get the, uh, I believe white, yeah, white face right here. Fire, I think I'm gonna do the white face with the black though. But um, yeah, and then there's your harness right there. And I, I believe one of these plugs into here. This one plugs into here so you can get your reading. Uh, let's get started on this. All right guys, so I got already one on, one fitting on. So this is pretty cool. It comes with two per, uh, one use so you want to squeeze this out first completely and get it on here first like that and then um let me give you one second i'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick so pinch remove come on remove and then this one you just put it on it pops in you can see it and then you put this on fully it doesn't matter how but listen to the snap and then you're pretty much golden we'll move bang so this is gonna allow me to run a dash six fitting actually like oh let me see over right here got one right here so it'll go on like this bang and then obviously this part goes into your dash six line and then it connects here once you put this on like this whole part right here this whole half will be on the line already so yeah then you're gonna run the line obviously like this that's where I'm going to I'm going to have my sensor probably right here. Bang. Somewhere right here. I'm going to put the bracket on and stuff. See how it looks. If not, I'll try to get it on the firewall. I just don't have any more dash 6 lines, so I can't really extend the line or nothing like that. Alrighty, fam. I got my fuel line off. Um and yeah, I'm just going to cut it. It is going to make my line a little bigger, but I think it's better cuz it was a little tight for the car, but we'll see. Um obviously, I'm going to try not to <laughs> you know, do anything crazy. It's both 90, so it doesn't matter where I cut it. I just know it bent right here, so not like a bad bend, but it just bent right here, so I'm probably gonna cut it like right here somewhere. Alrighty, fam, I cut the line. Um, you wanna obviously use electrical tape just so you don't get the flare out of the uh, nylon, because then it'll be a mother to put the, the straight fitting in. So 
obviously it does leave a little crud in there. I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't, but you get crud in here, so you want to clean that out too. Um, so what I do is I run alcohol through the line, and then um, I go ahead and put my fitting on. And some people do like to add a little bit of uh, oil to the this portion that I'm taking off right now. Um, sorry, this portion just so it could go in smooth, but obviously we know it's a fuel line, so I'll probably wet it a little bit just to get some lubrication, um, but that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. But let me go ahead and do this. I can't do it on camera because it's gonna take forever, but I'll do this real quick. So I got the pole fitting and shit right here. Uh, it's not where I wanted it to sit. You know, you guys know I wanted it to sit right here, but mighty fum. So this is the harness that's gonna plug into your, um, the coolant temp sensor. So, this is gonna run into your car. So what I did was, uh, there it is right there, tied up, plugged in. I came up this way, um, coming over this way as well. So, right here. They say to go through the fender, but screw that. Like I said, I don't wanna take my fender out and to get it all the way in, there's gonna be a pain. So I'm gonna put it through a boot right here. It'll lead right into the, uh, the spot I need it to. We'll see, we'll see. But I got it down here. You guys can see that. I'm gonna rotate it under so it looks like this black one right here. So it does look ugly up there. And then after that, boom, boom, we're good. So let's see what happens now. Also, I'm assuming this one's for the gauge, right? And then you have that white, that gray one is gonna go in here. So not bad, plug and play. All right, guys, I fished it all in the car. So uh, it's in. I just gotta figure out how I wanna do this because I forgot they made this a little, like probably for the fender. So it does reach, but barely guys. Unless I cut it and just add more wire, but I don't know if I'm down with that. I don't wanna screw with the wiring, but um. anyways, uh, yeah, everything's in. Um, just took it around. I do have space though, so maybe I might just, uh, tuck it you know somewhere else where i could get a little bit more wiring in the car at least i just don't want it to uh, screw up but what i'm going to do is unplug it from the sensor and then probably route it at the bottom and then i'll get more wire so i could bring it in more into the car but yeah let me do that real quick you guys want to install it through the fender uh this is what they want you to put it in pretty much and then it goes under here and then you could just go right to here but i don't know i mean I don't know. I just did it that way. That's how I did my uh, AFR and all that. I'm going to pull off this uh, number 15 right there. B5 or whatever they want. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug it in. Battery is off. I don't know if you have to, but I'm just taking precaution. So let me do that real quick. All right, guys. So I got everything on. If you guys can see. Pretty good. Um, fuel's over there. I ran it, obviously. This is the flex fuel. I didn't use the bracket. I just zip tied it to my harness because the bracket was hitting the uh, ECU, but it sits better flush. It doesn't even like really bounce around like that. And I could always zip it a little more, but um, that's pretty much it. You just don't want it to bang around something hard and it's, it won't really do that. But then all the wires are all the way at the bottom. Everything's plugged up on my end over here. Uh, this is just for now guys remember I got that pod. I'm gonna show you real quick It's gonna go right here both gauges So I got that one over there right now 10.5. I'm running 93 still So we're just trying to fix the kink out because as soon as I added this it screwed my whole tune up 